so I won't have to spend much time writing down the color. <laughs> yeah. Describing that. <laughs> we probably will be able to skip at least almost one step kind of today, yeah, right? Yeah, we won't have to talk about that. For the first part of this. Yeah, it, uh, we've got a, an assortment of, of waters today, which I know initially sounds a little different because who cares about water? You know, Does it really taste well, any we, different? We've always said that it definitely makes a difference in the quality of all the ingredients of what you drink so yeah but it, uh but yeah i mean is there a difference you know and but obviously going back to the coffee uh, that's what i was just gonna say trying yeah. different types of water and seeing and there certainly is a difference well and you always want to have a certain amount of mineral content in your water right. some people think like oh well if it's if i can get the most pure just nothing in it whatsoever that that's going to be the best for whatever i'm making and that's not necessarily the case because that's true you want some of those minerals to be able to come in there to actually do some work, pull pull things out of coffee, kind of what more what we're talking about right now, but yeah. anything like that. So, yeah, we've got, uh, we're going to have uh, actually a couple shows that are going to tie together here, and uh, the first one we're going to start off, which we'll get into, is uh, we've got three mineral waters for this Give It a Shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith, and we are about beverages.com, and the, uh, beverage, the beverages we are about today are, as Andrew said, they are sparkling mineral waters. We've got three different... Uh, selections here, um, conveniently all found at my place of business where I left just briefly or <laughs> just a little while ago. So we grabbed uh, one of each of those. Uh, we've got the, uh, the the Trader Joe brand. I'm going to start out from uh, well with price wise. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is definitely. yeah the Trader Joe brand. Their sparkling natural mineral water. This is actually. Uh, I believe from in California, a California source, um, and then we've got the. This is German, actually, the Gerol Steiner. Oh, interesting. Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, a German mineral water source, and then this is the uh, Pellegrino, which is Italian. Um, now this one I see a lot. Yeah, uh, I have seen this one. Like I said, yeah. I'm not too familiar with mineral water, so yeah. I'm actually interested uh, with you know how this is going to go. And this one I, I I have not heard of, and obviously you know Trader Joe's I've seen that there before. I'm sure. Now that you've seen this, you'll probably be like, oh. It is. It is a cost plus. Oh, it is because it is at different places. Oh, okay. It's one of those types of things. Oh, okay. All right. Um, you know, like whenever I know, like sometimes when I'm searching for a new car or new anything, and you all of a sudden you're like, oh, there are a lot of those on the road. <laughs> you, you, when, when you're made aware of something, then all of a sudden, yeah, it's, it's everywhere. So it's so funny you just said that because uh, the thing uh, that we just tried over the last couple of weeks that we had to actually do the notes on the those uh, joya sodas right all of a sudden i was at cost plus today looking for the i turn around there's like six of there them. there they are i was like oh i thought this was a sprouts thing but yeah, yeah. and or i shouldn't say that it was the first place i'd seen it and then like yeah. you said you see it everywhere right right so and this is probably not as uh omnipresent as as this this one isn't as everywhere as this one is but yeah you will all of a sudden you'll notice it somewhere else yeah now that, now that you've seen it so so now you did you said you kind of put them in price order but what are they exact because obviously these are smaller bottles than this one too yeah this is 42.3 ounces it's 99 cents uh, these are both 25.3 and i believe they're both a dollar 49 there may be oh, okay. a dime or difference or suit but I'm, I'm pretty sure they're both, both still not crazy expensive no it just, and yeah it just depends on uh whether you like the, the the bubbles or not you know sometimes i'll talk with people at work about these and they're like eh, you know they don't like the the sparkling so they all have carbonation they all have carbonation okay. added right. yeah they all have natural mineral content from the water from wherever Naturally, they're at. yeah, that comes with that, okay. and then they add that to it. But you know, zero grams of fat, uh, you know, all this, no calories, no sugar, none of that. This is just you know, mineral water with some with some bubbles but added to it. Probably, right? yeah, yeah. You're definitely gonna have sodium. Salt, In fact, it was funny. Content. One of them was that this one has uh, maybe it wasn't this one. This one's you got know, 10 milligrams. Calcium, 8%. There's 8% of your calcium in that. Oh, wow. Of <laughs> your daily. And this one's got 30. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what the sodium is. But anyway. But yeah, sodium, uh, 35. So yeah, but but okay. those are the naturally occurring right, just minerals naturally that are within in the water. It's not something right. you're adding additional right. to it, but they have to right. Right. reveal that on the label. All right, well right. let's so. just get into it. Uh, okay. Do you want to just start? Go yeah, right down. I think the line? we should just okay. go with that. I want to make sure. I know you must have been there. a little nervous. I noticed you didn't have your iPad out there. So. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually enjoying the, the the writing by hand the last few weeks, so I'm going to go with that again. I don't know. Maybe you should crack those, oh, too, okay. so we All can right. just let them naturally degas. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I honestly, I've probably had this plain one somewhere along the way, but I actually keep the lime and the mixed berry on hand at home. Just as something okay, to Okay, so they have different flavors have, of Yeah, that. this one it is. Yeah, they, right. they'll add, there's, we have an orange and a berry 
a lime okay. and a lemon. The lemons too, for me is a little weird. I like the lime and the and the berry, and it's just something I'll have with lunch. You know, instead of a soda, no, you know, it's got no sugar, yeah. but it's got some carbonation. I think even Joe drinks. Yeah, he likes a sparkling stuff water. like yeah, this. Yeah, no, I'm he not does actually. These brands, but um, here. Oh, okay. Uh, interesting thing too about this. We were talking just before we started recording. You'll just even yourself just add a little bit of lime to it or something like a little squeeze of something yeah. too, which yeah, which you, you can. You could add other uh, fruit juices or actually the thing that we'll be doing on our next show, which we'll talk about then. We will be adding something, something kind of unique that, to it, yeah. but we'll kind of get into that. And like that Kristen, time. who doesn't like you know juice at the full sweet strength, she'll combine this with you, the, that 100% cranberry juice you could do, or even oh, regular, regular okay. orange juice, and it just livens it up a little bit because of the carbonation. So, yeah, as we said, we're not even going to... No, we're, we're, we're trying these at room temperature. Oh, okay, um, yeah. Good normally, you probably aren't drinking something like this at room temperature. You're going to pour this over ice. I'm sure there are people who will do that, but we're going to try them at room temperature just because... Uh, there's gonna be the more most opportunity for us to find whatever flavor is in there. So, I like how you said that. Find whatever flavor. Is in there. <laughs> well, <laughs> no real aroma. No, you know, <laughs> I thought it was. Yeah, it's the, so funny. Know. It's so funny. I'm used to always something having flavor or something added to yeah. it. Like as soon as I was putting it to my nose, I was expecting to smell lime. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, and I yeah, <laughs> and I do drink the too, lime but one. Still, so, that's yeah. just uh, that's funny. Well, I guess we'll go to the taste then. That's yes, right. No <laughs> color. Not much. No aroma. Because of those minerals in there, it has sort of a chalky's too heavy, but uh, or too much of a descriptor, I think. But it dries you out a little bit. Yeah, that's um, what I was just gonna say. There's a, there's a little bit of a drying effect. Um, not not like it's not like oh god, I'm parched now. Right. But, but right. you can you can feel it. Yeah. You can feel it. You're not completely yeah. quenched. Right. Right. Uh, yeah, there's a little bit of that. I'm trying to put my finger on because I've, you know, I've had other mineral waters very long time ago in the past, and it's that. It, it's it's a little bit of the, the salt or the little bit of that content that's in there and it's mixed with something else and I'm trying to think of what that is it's um because it's not dirty it's it, it literally I guess it is literally minerals but I'm trying to come up with something better almost than like that. well it's like bicarbonate like of soda or something that sort of or almost like a if you open up a box of uh, like baking soda or something there's sort of that yeah 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 okay yeah where it's a mixture of like you said like a of different things like yeah. that. Yeah, this is this is not the greatest description right now. Maybe no, we'll, it's, I uh, may find it when we get to it the may, other Yeah, ones. maybe in one <laughs> of the other ones. seek it out. You know, like, cause, yeah, granted, this is the, you know, definitely, well, not, who knows? We may like this one the best. So, for, for whatever reason. I don't so. find anything wrong with it. No. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. this is kind of what I expected yeah. from the flavor, so. And, it, you know, sometimes I, I think. I like the carbonation, too. Okay, good. Quite yeah, a bit, because yeah. yeah, there will be some people who don't like that, and I think sometimes if you're like, "Ooh, a carbonated beverage," maybe your mind clicks to soda, to sweet, click, and, clicks to sweet, yeah. clicks to something. So you have to make sure you don't do that because it is just the water with the bubbles. Hmm. In this instance, like I said, you could add. I wonder what to that. a gin and mineral water would be like. Like, I wonder I what wonder the quinine adds to it. You know what I mean? Like, I, I think I had to do that once at a a party one time. <laughs> Well, no, because I, I wanted, a desperate man no, I wanted a mixed drink, and I was like, "Can I get a gin and tonic?" And the guy, and the guy said, "No, we don't. We don't have. I don't have a tonic. I can do you a gin and a, a, it may have been club soda or it may have been mineral water. I can't remember what he said." Okay. And I was like, "Okay," and it definitely lacked. Did it lose something? That well, yeah, because okay. because you know, tonic's a whole different beast. Oh yeah, yeah. Which actually, I we should do that too. We should have a tonic water taste tasting thing, which will actually at least that'd be a little. There'll be some more flavors to speak of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Our viewership's just going right now. Like, oh my They're gosh, what is it? Water. About, trust me, this is setting up something way exciting. So. Right. <laughs> right. And even this, like I said, I'm, I'm fascinated by this because I always see Joe open. Usually it's around the holidays. He'll have just mineral water and he's always, you know, just at night yeah. because you've had all that stuff throughout the evening, whether it's yeah. alcohol or soda and the food and everything else. Yeah. Sometimes you just want a little carbonation. Yeah. <laughs> you, if you get my drift. You don't want just the ice water. Or right. yeah, you could do that, but at least this yeah. gives you, and once again, like with this one, you know, you it, you can buy them already pre-flavored or any of these. You can certainly squeeze a lime, squeeze a lemon, add a little bit of fruit yeah. juice to them. And yeah, I don't, I don't know nice if it's little. the shape of the bottle, but this one seems to have way more carbonation than these It two. does. It does. And maybe be uh yeah let's see so Car carb this just says carbonation added on that so all right so we go move on yeah, yeah moving right. on to, to the germany and uh you pronounce this very nice so i'm gonna well i don't know if i'm saying it right but okay. i said gerol steiner gerol steiner that's how let's we do say that it. so mom can there's definitely carbonation when you know. pour it yeah oh yeah but yeah it was just interesting sitting in the bottle that one's almost like it's 
rippling and, like and the, the tide is rippling there was a time at work i don't know if they just came across it and got a special deal on it but w- they actually had this without the carbonation in it oh really and then nobody I, I can't remember if nobody bought it we just had so much we were actually giving it away <laughs> we had it sitting at the register we're like hey would you like to have some <laughs> it's like at the car companies when you go in there like would you like a bottle of water while you're waiting yeah like, would you like some of this no, you, yeah would you like, like some what? uh non-carbonated Gerald steiner beat a bag in a fajita and a pita <laughs> <laughs> See now that has a little more aroma of some sort. Once again, not not like anything, but that almost does have that sort of lime, not not fruit lime, but like the limestone. Yeah, calc- you can kind of get that. You get more mineral. That, yeah, you're, it's almost like, calcium. Yeah, not it's the, almost like a wet wet rock. Yeah, where you are right. able to get something. Right. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, still very muted. But oh, yeah, yeah, there is a little bit more in this. Yeah, again, I think everything we uh, comment on today is going to be. Bring it down a notch from whatever we say. <laughs> right, right. <Yeah. laughs> We're really trying to find something. In yeah. There. So th- I think the carbonation's tighter in there. Very much so. Yeah. This is really big bubbles. This is more this like is soda-y carbonation. Yeah. This is this isn't like champagne-y, but it's definitely a tighter, um, m- more bur- not a burn either, but more toward that more like focused carbonation on that. This reminds me, actually, the carbonation. This reminds me of one of my first uh, homebrew beers that I did with with, oh, yeah. Eric, with Eric. Oh, yeah, like so because you're using the kit and you're kind of using, you know, you're using just regular sugar and all those kind of things, and you're, you know, you don't, you're not messing with anything at that point. So you're just doing it the way it is. And I think they want to make sure that you get enough carbonation in those kind of homebrew batches. This one, this one does the tight, oh, okay. super, oh, okay. but a lot of it okay. like tight carbonation where it's. It's kind of somewhere in between a soda and a beer because you don't have that nice soft carbonation of a beer. Yeah. And that's kind of what that reminds me of is I remember those first ones I had like, ooh, that's, that carbonation's intense. I'm getting a little bit more of a, there's a, <sighs> creamy is too far, but there is a This is not as dry. This there, Yeah, there's a, there's a oily, there's like a viscosity mm-hmm. almost. There's something else to this one that. The minerals in there, I think, uh, there's a higher note to them. Yeah, and yeah, this isn't this doesn't dry as much. Yeah, I would say. So, yeah, this actually almost kind of stopped this one from. Again, it's not that dry, but I mean, it's yeah. it less less than that one. This is the one that if you said to me, you know, fancier mineral water, kind of you know, that type of thing, that's the one I think of. I yeah. see that every store like that you can go in, you can always yeah. find that one. So. Yeah, a lot of restaurants you'll see that in, or yeah. some, sometimes you even see empty bottles as their centerpiece. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen that too. Italian restaurants <laughs> yeah. and things like that, you'll find those. Definitely. I'd say the carbonation's even a little less than the last one. Yeah. That died down really quick. As I was pouring it, got carbonation, but then just died down really quick. There's one we carried for a little bit that is still out there, and it's, it's called like Aquapana. And it's mineral water, and it doesn't have the carbonation. It's just it's in a glass bottle. Okay. Uh, and we carried it for a little bit. We don't carry it anymore. So overall, people are expecting carbonation is almost kind of the theme we're going across here because people are not buying the ones that don't have carbonation. Yeah, it seems that way. Yeah, <laughs> for the most part. Yeah, the mineral water needs to have a little bit of life to it, I guess. This one seems a little more toward the Trader Joe's one. Just kind of not as not, not getting a lot. I mean, not yeah. that there was a lot in that, but yeah, back to you know, kind of it's back down to there, right? Right, of just kind of being just oh, it yeah, smells like water, yeah, <laughs> you know, it's water, <laughs> it smells like water. Definitely lighter on the carbonation, don't get a lot of that. Like I said, there's some, but it's very light, soft kind of bubbles that go right. away very quickly as well, right? But I get a lot more of that, the mineral content At the in back. that. Yeah, I get a lot right in the back of my tongue. The it's soft al- palate. It's almost like it's lighting up the sour bar area of my tongue, like toward the back a little bit. Yeah, and I don't know if that did this one have. This one actually has the least amount of salt, I hmm. think. Right? What was this one? This one's thirty. This one's this 10. one's thirty-five. Yeah, so this one's only ten. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, this one also does not seem to be drying as much either. Seems similar. Actually. It's weird. This one's making my mouth water. It is making my mouth water, but I'm a little dry, and it could, but it could just be a buildup of the, yeah, the three true, by true. this time. Yeah, but I'm a little. But this is definitely some water to cleanse our palates. Of the <laughs> <laughs> here, try this one. Oh yeah. wait, no. wait, go back. No, <laughs> um, just regular water. Of the three, this has the to me the most flavor. Yeah, there's a little something of everything, like the whole right. way around. Like I even get a little bit of 
liveliness kind of at the front. There's almost like a hint of lemon. When like I like almost this, like again like not like you squeezed a lemon in there but maybe is, maybe like someone had two drops in an ocean like three three miles back <laughs> and, and you know you're like a shark and you can smell it really yeah. far away and you can get like just a hint of that essence of lemon and there's something in there that says that with along with what it's doing to my sour bar and everywhere there is a quality in there that has some sort of that is to me is aspirin adjacent I, I know what you're talking about you know now when i think about um uh, when i think about aspirin like if you actually because i don't have aspirin anymore you know you, no. about, you take other things right but if you're having that kind of a tablet yeah dissolve in your mouth there is a flavor to it right that's yeah a little bit you know not that yeah because not like if when you swallow it and you sort of get that as it yeah goes no, down, no it's actually the, like if it's it's, it's more of a sensation in your mouth. yeah it's that yeah. sensation yeah, maybe that, that, that's more of what we're getting here is almost sensations than actual yeah. real flavor right right because so. there's not and then honestly if you pour these over ice whatever is there is probably, <laughs> we're probably not gonna diluted get it anyway so yeah but uh but honestly i think any one any one of these you know would work like i said if we're talking about like i said for someone that has not had a lot of mineral water, I'd be happy with any one of these. Like, I don't think there's anyone, you know, yeah, maybe this one's like a little bit better and this right. one's maybe, but I... And these I are in glass. If you have a problem with plastic, you're not going to want this one. Oh, you okay. Know, you have that sort of thing going on too. This is definitely your better value because you're getting, you this know, This is where your extra, 50 cents goes right here is glass. You're getting your extra 17, o- 17 ounces, you know. Right. And, and 50 cents less. So, and this is like, this is the one that I'll just have with... Uh, with with lunch, and or I think once like you that. mix that, I, once you mix any of these with anything, you're not going to get right. You know, so. But I'm sure they each have their devoted fans. Like we have people come in and buy cases of this. We have people that come in and buy cases of this. We have people that come in and buy cases of that. So, and I can understand why because they're, like. they're all like I said. Yeah, I think they're yeah. all good. Like I said, I think the the I I think the biggest defining factor is if you were anyone that was kind of watching your sodium, maybe you'd pick one of these over the others. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe you'd pick the Pellegrino or something like that. But and that and that is interesting to to note that. That the, it's that uh, much sodium less, content. So. Yeah. That's only 10, you said, right? Yeah, this one's only 10. And it's the same as 8 ounce serving? Uh, oh, you know, I'm assuming. Good, yes, it is. Okay. Yep. Yeah. They, usually that's your standard su- serving. So. Yeah. Um, so. Anyway, all right. But yeah, all right. Well, this was uh, kind of, you know, the first, first little foray into this, and then we are going to add another layer on top of this next week. Do you want to touch on that at all? You want to throw something out there about uh, what we're going to be... Well, I I, I, con- I concocted something in my own kitchen. All right, I know. It, was it was it an idea that you had yourself, or did you read about it somewhere? I read about it. Was it in one of our? I had magazines? the I had the idea to make it, <laughs> <laughs> based on reading one of our favorite magazines. Yes, of course. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that should be uh, all that anyone needs to know. But if you want to uh, find uh, the tasting notes. Or uh, just in general, uh, other uh, ideas of concoctions and things like that, you should just head on over to the website at aboutbeverages.com. Find all those things along with, uh, gosh, I don't know. You know, we have, we've we been a little bit more quiet lately because we've been, uh, like I said, either audio difficulties or <laughs> right, just, right. Just other things. So, you know, kind of just, we always kind of ease into the year. I, I've, I've found that if you look at us, but we're... We're about to get into full swing here. You've, there's uh, there's about to be some trouble. We've been tweeting some things, though. I have been. I've been I've having some different things. beers. Oh, man. I have. To, I do have to mention a beer. You know, we haven't talked about this in a little while. Recommendation from Eric, friend of the show, who's Eric been on, Gasson. Been on, Eric Gasson, okay. who's been on uh, a couple times now, uh, recommended the uh, from the brewery that Odd Tart. Or oh, it's like, okay. Oh, you, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, my God. It's like... Wine and tart vinegar and just and you, it seems like you can find. I, I mean, I've seen it at Plaza. I've seen it at Total Wine, lots of different places. It's not a seasonal, but they do limited runs of it throughout the year. So oh, you do okay. see it. Um, a little on the pricier side, but not too bad. It's like eighteen bucks. That's yeah. So those, some kinda, of those brewery beers are, but they're yeah, they're usually well worth it. Yeah, th- this one is definitely can't recommend it enough if you're a sour fan. It's delicious. I still have. I, I grabbed that other one of the. Uh, what was that one that we? The tart of, the tart of tart, darkness. tart of darkness. Yeah, yeah I, I still can, have. I have looked for that because that yeah. was also amazing, and uh, you still have one of the uh, most amazing beers that we. Had I last do year have the well. Terroir. So the La Terroir. If only you make New Belgium, make some more of that. <laughs> cut, it, yeah. cut down like on say your fat tire production, <laughs> and make more. Of I the do La like terroir. their new packaging. The, it the, is nice. The, uh, yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, we'll have to try. <laughs> Should we try an old beer in new packaging and see if we like it better? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> see if it's any different. <laughs> see if it's any different. That would be uh, marketing at its finest that, right there if, if it convinces us to if like something we didn't like. there's any way we could know not to look back at whatever our notes were and we had a poor enough recollection I, of something. I'm trying to think of, well, because you know, we've done the, uh, 
the ranger didn't we do that the ranger yeah we, uh, twice we talked we about tried that. it again we did try it twice we've uh, i mean we set that one on fire because like, i liked it I, well i, I liked, liked it, it on so draft yeah because i did it on draft that's what when we went back to try it again and, and we got it yeah. two separate times in the bottle and yeah. both times we were just yeah. kind of like eh. i mean it was okay yeah but but whether we like it or not you should give it a shot <laughs>